Fox 45 Morning News. 50,000 Americans are diagnosed every year with Parkinson's disease, and each year the search for a cure picks up momentum. The Michael J. Fox Foundation is leading the fight. Dr. Zoltan Mari, a neurologist with the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, is here to fill us in on some promising new research. Good morning to you. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thank you. Well, I was reading up, and I saw that uh, the Michael J. Fox Foundation is working on biomarkers. I know this is a big difference. Tell us, tell us what these biomarkers could actually do. So biomarkers are generally of two kinds. There are diagnostic biomarkers, which uh, help uh, us uh, make sure that somebody has a certain disease. Mm -hmm. And then there are progression biomarkers, which help us uh, track the progression of a disease. And um, progression biomarkers are the primary focus of this study which would help us uh, find a way to uh, measure progression of Parkinson's disease right. through some biological characteristics that correlate how severe somebody's disease is. Mm -hmm. The reason why that's uh, groundbreaking and, uh, and eminently important is because we lack good disease-modifying treatments for Parkinson's disease at this time. And in order for us to develop even a trial design to find one, we need to know who is progressing and how much through mm -hmm. some objective characteristic that this research uh, targets to, to identify. And this clinical research goes so much deeper than just the symptoms, but for, for our use, wh what are the symptoms of Parkinson's? Initial symptoms are often a little bit of tremor in one hand or the fingers. It could be a little slowness or stiffness. Occasionally, patients observe balance problems and, and difficulty keeping their balance. The cardinal uh, features of Parkinson's disease are those, tremor, um, bradykinesia or slowest, slowness, rigidity or increased muscle tone, and postural instability, which is basically imbalance. I know this is a, a progressive disease that gets worth, uh, worse over time. How long does that normally take? So it varies from one patient to another. Uh -huh. Sometimes we see the initial symptoms uh, not really progressing virtually uh, in the first couple of years. And then uh, depending on uh, how your symptomatology is, you may see a progression over several years. And typically in the first few years, you will need some medications, okay. which will help suppress the symptoms. And we have seen better treatments. I mean, patients are living longer and longer with this, with this disease. How are things looking right now? So actually, with all the extremely effective symptomatic treatments, we already are near the point where we can make the patients live as long as the general population. So the uh, longevity or life expectancy in Parkinson's disease almost matches controls. Wow. It's the uh, quality of life that we um, are not able to match and uh, that's the problem. These medications that we are, or treatments, because DBS surgery or deep brain stimulation surgery is also available and standard of treatment. All these treatments are only symptomatic. They mask the symptoms, but they don't actually change the course of the progression. Well, we hope the research continues to go well and that these biomarkers really help uh, get us to that cure. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. My pleasure.